Gary, tell us a little bit about the kind of skill sets that someone needs to have. What are the skills that someone needs to be successful in a position like yours? I think that you, and what I tell students all the time is you need to have a, at least one major league quality. You need to be able to either write or broadcast or event plan or personality or be incredibly technical, but you be, have to have one, at least one, that you can translate into a high stress, highly competitive professional atmosphere. And it used to be where public relations, for example, came from newspaper, no longer. Now it comes from all different facets and you have to know marketing, you have to know branding, you have to know a little bit about a lot of different things and be aware and be passionate. Sounds like I'm talking about the NBA. You can, if you can be a great rebounder, you can be in the NBA. That is correct. <laughs> you don't have to be five tools. That is correct. You have that one NBA skill. But a, a, a media professional also needs to be able to do something at that level in at least, in PR, at least one skill. Even if you're more specialized as either a writer or broadcaster, obviously you've made your choice. But in PR, at, especially now, you need to really be proficient to be successful in a few different areas. What are some of the, and we know where you are right now, what are a couple of the roles that you had earlier in your mm -hmm. career that were really vital? You say, you know what, this is, these, these jobs were really what, what gave me my, my start, my place. When I was 14, I wrote for our, lo our local town newspaper. And I remember I went to a, a, a conference at Syracuse and I asked the question, if you are writing about the game that you are playing in and it is your byline, how do you reference yourself in the article? I never got an answer. Even then, I never got an answer. But I actually did a lot of small market things. I worked at uh, a small market radio station in Monticello. I worked at uh, Yonkers Raceway, uh, excuse me, Monticello Raceway. I worked at Cable 6 TV in Middletown. And from there, I went to Yonkers Raceway. And from Yonkers Raceway, I went to the Nets. So I got my basis early on when I was in high school, and then I worked uh, several small market jobs before I was able to transfer.